Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. I did a video a little while back about the eBay standard envelope and my experience using it to sell cards under $20 on eBay. And in the comments to that video, I got a question from someone who basically said, help, I'm selling on TCG Player and I get ripped off all the time because people claim they don't receive my plain white envelopes with cards in them. And kind of asking what to do about that. Well, you know, my, my first inclination was, how can I solve this with a spreadsheet video? So here we are. Um, you know, what I would say is, if you're selling any card under $20, move it to eBay and sell it with the eBay standard envelope. And I, I know there's, there's kind of division in the community over how fee sensitive you should be, um, whether you should care about fees a lot, whether you should not care at all. My take on that is how sensitive you are to fees depends on who you are. If you are a very casual hobbyist who just sometimes sells some cards, you can afford to be very fee sensitive and it might make sense for you because, you know, you're just doing this as a hobby. You're trying to turn your money around. And if you don't sell a card today, instead it takes another week to sell it. Well, okay, you probably don't care. If you're trying to scale this into a business, that will do considerable volume and one day become a full-time job and maybe you want a card store and all the rest of that, then uh, you probably should not care about fees. It's kind of hard to figure when you would care about the fees. You care about volume and turning product over and getting your money back so you can reinvest it in your next endeavor. So um, having said that, I would say you want to be on eBay selling any card that's $20 or less. And so I made this chart here and I put sale prices all the way down to about $3 because you kind of get into special cases of how to sell cards that are down below that price. But, um, you know, if you sell these cards for these prices using eBay standard envelope, this is what you will make after fees, postage, supplies, things like your actual envelope, the top loader, all that stuff. And so here is your cost percentage. Basically, what percentage of your sale price did it cost you to sell it? And so you see down on these cheap cards, it costs you a considerable percentage of your sale price to sell a cheap card because the postage is the same amount, the supplies is the same amount, the, the envelope costs the same amount, no matter whether it's a $3 card or a $20 card. So um, those costs to finish the sale, come down as you sell more expensive products. And that's something I've made videos about in the past. But what if you sold it using a first class package bubble mailer shipped with USPS? You know, anywhere you, you ship those zone to zone throughout the US, um, the postage plus the bubble mailer itself, again, plus a uh, top loader, a penny sleeve and a team bag, you know, it's going to cost you, I put notionally, $4.10. That's, you know, it's pretty much close enough. So, um, obviously, if you sell a card for $3 and you ship it for $4.10, you will lose money on having sold that card. And, you know, this looks like a lot of the specs that people do on the RMTG Finance subreddit. They end up like this. But um, as you get up to these higher value cards, you end up with more left over and the fees come down relative to the lower value cards. But what you can see between the net that you will make and thus the fees that are consumed for any card, $20 or less, it's just better to use the eBay standard envelope. And again, I'm applying the same fee percentages to eBay and TCG player. They are pretty close to each other. I mean, they're not exactly the same, but they're pretty close. And so most of the time, if the card is $20 or less, sell it on eBay using the eBay standard envelope. It'll be tracked. It'll cut down on the fraud because at least the kind of fraud where people just say, well, it never arrived will be gone. Okay. People can still play games where they say, well, there was no card in the envelope. It was the wrong card. It was a damaged card, you know, stuff like that. But, um, it'll at least get rid of the simplest fraud that is the most common, which is people saying they didn't receive a card because when they got it in their mailbox, they realized, hey, this was not tracked and it's just my word against his. So what happens when you get to cards above $20? Well, um, it looks like you only have one choice, move to a first class bubble mailer, a first class package bubble mailer. Um, that's not quite true. 
you could take some of these cards, let's say on up to $23, and you could just price them for $20 on eBay and sell them, and your net would still be $16.50 compared to your net being these prices for cards from $21 to $23. So instead of packaging them uh, in a bubble mailer and paying the nearly $4 to ship them, you just price them lower so that they still qualify for the eBay standard envelope whose cutoff is $20 in value, and then you ship them in that. Um, and you come out with more money overall. So you can do that. Um, a second option is you can bundle them and sell them on eBay. So instead of, say, selling uh, two, two cards at $23 each and netting twice this amount, which is, what, $31.50, you could sell one lot of those cards at $45 and you would net $35. So you've come out a couple dollars ahead by basically combining the shipping. Now, depending on what you're selling, what kind of volume you do, and a lot of other variables that may or may not work out for you. But um, most of the time, I think it's just better to move all of those small cards over to eBay. And, you know, hopefully in the near future here, as eBay finishes buying TCG Player, the eBay standard envelope will come over to TCG Player. And I think being about 18 months into the program of running the eBay standard envelope they ought to have really good data on the actual loss rates, things like that. You know, the USPS really doesn't lose many pieces of mail. It's actually pretty good. It handles over 400 million pieces of first class mail every day. If it was losing two or three or 5% of those, you know, that would be what, 20 million pieces of mail? How many dumpsters would that fill to lose 20 million pieces of mail every day? So they're not losing that much mail. It does happen rarely. But um, hopefully the standard envelope will come over to TCG Player so you can use that over there. Then you can sell on whichever platform you like more. But I would say for this person who asked the question, low value cards go with the standard envelope on eBay. And once you get over a certain value, um, Go to the bubble mailer. It's tracked. It is not insured unless you pay more, but really you should be self-insuring when you sell a, a bunch of cards. I mean, it doesn't make sense to pay for insurance, especially since it's an administrative hassle to try to collect on it. You should just be self-insured. So uh, in the long run, since you're doing a lot of transactions, that will pay off better than buying any kind of insurance on everything that you mail. So let me know what you think. Let me know what your experience is. Obviously, you know, this changes a lot if you do high enough volume that you're, say, in the TCG Direct program. That's going to completely change all this because at that point, you don't want to mess with eBay standard envelope at all. What you want to get is your replenishment invoice from TCG Player. You pull all of, all of those, you put them in order, you put them in one box, and you mail it to TCG Player in Syracuse, New York. So, you know... Uh, the answers to this question kind of vary a lot depending on what kind of scale you're at, who you are, what value of cards you're selling, and all those other things. But I thought this was kind of a good overview for the, the types of sellers that I expect are watching my videos. So let me know what you think, agree or disagree. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if this is providing good value to you, consider joining the Patreon. Otherwise, just keep joining me on Final Trade. Thanks a lot.